Earlier this week, I made some content about how people who claim that there's nothing to do or that there's no self are uh, not providing helpful information about the spiritual path. Uh, today, I'm here to extend an olive branch and to clarify uh, with a little bit more nuance uh, how what they can say is, uh, is useful on some level and uh, how it can be complemented with other type of information to make it a more well-rounded type of uh, teaching. This is Meditation Amsterdam. My name is Pablo and today I'm going to uh, clarify the difference between insight and advice. So uh, I was literally just coming across a Tony Parsons video, uh, which seems quite recent. Uh, I noticed that he switched off the uh, <laughs> the comments on his videos uh, and I can only imagine is because there's a lot of criticism going about um, the the insights that he shares, which are very pure, very high level. And um, what they left me, uh, what they always leave me feeling is this uh, sense that he doesn't provide a bridge or a workable path to arrive to where he's at. And I do stand by that, actually. I don't think he provides that at all. Um, and I think that the main confusion that we have going here for ourselves is not making enough of a distinction between what is an insight and what is a piece of workable advice. The way I would define an insight in this uh, realm of, of spiritual talking or um, yeah, self-cultivation is an insight is, is an embodied uh, knowing that is the outcome of a process. So we could take an insight such as uh, there is no self or uh, you are one with everything, for example. Those are very deep, very pure, high level insights. They come in, in short form uh, because they are the distillation of an entire body of, of knowledge and, and an entire psychosomatic process that took place uh, either by accident or through uh, cultivation practices. And then when the system creates certain connections within, then the insight arises and you go, oh my God, I'm one with everything, right? And now the person who says I'm one with everything and, and, and knows it in, in their bones um, is not the same as the person who was told that they're one with everything and really believes it, but their perceptual reality doesn't confirm it. It's just something that they really believe and they take it as a kind of a guiding uh, direction. Um, however, that guiding direction doesn't really get you there because it's a, it's a mental guidance, right? It's a kind of conceptual understanding and it doesn't really provide any kind of workable uh, activity of the mind, any workable integrative type of activity or any type of, um, uh, what would you call it? doing or non-doing um, that would allow your nervous system to become more um, restful, more integrated and more tolerant. So um, that's how you can see the difference because when you talk about spiritual advice, or uh, um, then you can talk about something that can be uh, a guidance for what to do with your attention, what to do with your focus, whether to open or close your awareness, whether to place it somewhere in your somatics or maybe in your thoughts. So there, there's a guidance of take your focus of awareness and do this with it, or take your body and place it in this type of um, uh, conditions so that it is more conducive for the kind of mental work or the kind of breath work that you're trying to do or, or, or whatnot. Now, I would say that both insights and uh, practical advice are uh, teaching. They both qualify as teaching. And if the insight is direct uh, enough and it's coherent enough and the, uh, the student is, is ready to receive it, then it would click immediately. Um, unfortunately, insight only teaching is to my mind incredibly ineffective at, at achieving what, what you want. Because then people have like a few aha moments, but then they go back to daily life and, you know, they're completely mired in their same stresses and attitudes because nothing has fundamentally changed in the way their system operates. In other words, they have acquired mental knowledge. They have, may have had uh, mental aha moments, but they are not embodied. 
which is one reason that I said that real insight is an embodied living knowingness that what you are saying is completely lived. Your entire perceptual reality is coherent with what's coming out of your mouth as an insight called I'm one with everything. So having clarified that, I would go as far as to say that um, there's a lot of uh, there's place for both. OK, let's let's extend an olive branch to Tony Parsons says what you're doing is not entirely wrong, but I think it's very incomplete and rather unworkable. So there has to be a place for um, practical advice that gets you working with your psychosomatics. Enlightenment is a psychosomatic process. Now, you could call it a doing or an undoing. You could say that it requires work or not. You know, that's we've, we've gone into those kind of topics uh, as well. But to say that it's simply something that you either get or don't, while true, is totally unworkable. And so uh, an insights only teaching, even if especially if it's super high insights, is very interesting. It's really entertaining. And you go like, wow, you know, that's that's amazing. But so what is the question? The question is, so what? And uh, like I said, I wasn't going to do a video, but I just couldn't help myself to, to, to share this and to clarify that distinction. And whenever you're receiving um, advice from a, from a teacher or when you, whenever you're listening to a spiritual talk being given, ask yourself, is this an insight that this person has and is trying by hook or by crook to share via words? Or is it practical advice that can create changes in my psychosomatics so that this, that insight may arise in me? In other words, um, uh, is it workable or, or not? So, um, yeah, that's today's video. It's Friday. Um, I think it's been a cool week. Uh, I hope it was the same for you. Uh, once again, if you think that this type of uh, discussions are helpful to others, remember that sharing the video, uh, sharing your comments on the comment section, liking and subscribing makes it more available to others. And as usual, I'll be back with more. And uh, cheerio and have a good weekend. Bye.